Hey guys, I know this is um, a really kind of poor quality video and bad lighting, all that good stuff, but I wanted to come on here and just kind of, it was kind of in the moment type of situation. I have a job interview here in about an hour. I'm about to leave and head up there. I decided to get a little part-time job to um, supplement Christmas with the kids and everything this year. Plus, I kind of thought it would be fun to have something outside of the house, something for me. Um, it's a store where like, I like to shop. Um, I've become friends with the girls who work there, and so it, it would just be a really good atmosphere for me. But I'm having a lot of anxiety about it because of my um, vision problem. And I'm the person who, I went to college, I got a degree, I did all the things they told me I wouldn't do. I became a kindergarten teacher, I taught for several years, I, I drive now, um, I don't typically let people tell me I can't do something. If you tell me I can't do something, well I'm going to do it because that's just who I am. Um, but I want you to see that even people like me who have that drive, have that motivation, still feel anxiety and still feel um, scared, even over little things like this. This shouldn't be that big of a deal. It's just a little part-time job. It's um, something that should be minor, but it's not. It's to me, I'm still kind of freaking out inside. I'm like, it's, it's the unknown. You know, what if I can't read the register as well as I need to? What if um, they're not as accepting of my limitations, which I don't think is gonna be the case. I think they're gonna embrace it. And I think that these are some great, great women that I'm gonna be working with. But that anxiety is always in me. That anxiety is always there. Um, that's the anxiety I feel whenever I go anywhere. Um, I'm always wondering if people are judging me. Like when they see me having to hold my phone a little closer to read something. Um, when they find out that I'm legally blind and that I legally drive a car. Um, what's going through their head? What are they thinking? You know. Um, no matter how confident you are, those things still just kind of... Um, they're just kind of there. So anyway, I just wanted to share my feelings on that. I know that there's, um, I have a few people who watch my videos, who have albinism, who struggle with this every day. And well, I shouldn't even say struggle with it. It's not like we struggle. I mean, it's, I don't even want to say that I struggle with it. I, I cope. I live, I live with it every day. So I just wanted to share that so that if somebody else feels the way I do, it's normal. It's, it's okay to feel this way. It's okay to have the anxiety. Um, everybody tells you to be strong and everybody tells you to um, empower yourself and to, to do what they say you can't do. Prove them all wrong. But it's okay to have that anxiety. It's okay to feel scared. Um, and it's okay to show it a little bit, you know? Um, I'm wanting to cry. Like, I just want to break down so bad right now. But this, this is helping me. This is my outlet. Um, I'm talking to you guys and I'm telling you how I feel right now. So, and it's helping. And I know I'm going to be okay. I'm going to go in to this job interview and I'm going to own it. And I'm going to be me. And, yeah. So, anyway. Okay, guys, wish me luck. I'll update you on how things go and cross your fingers. Talk to you later, guys. Bye. All right, guys, I just pulled up. Um, so I listened to my music all the way here and I sang as loud as I wanted to. That's like my medicine. <laughs> like when I'm stressed or I'm feeling anxious, like I sing and it helps me. So I'm in like a good place right now. So, but yes, we are here. Um, I'm really early. I'm, well, I'm about 30 minutes early, which is good. It's in the mall, so I can walk around for a few minutes and just kind of 
collect myself. I realize I haven't eaten anything all day. <laughs> Which is probably not a good idea. My stomach is like, Ugh. but I just get like that when I'm nervous. I don't eat. So anyway, I don't know. Yeah. So no, I just feel like the point I'm making this was this. <sighs> Gosh, I feel like this isn't a big deal. Like, I'm like, I know this isn't a big deal. It shouldn't be a big deal. But then I'm like, no, it is a big deal. It's a big deal to me. And it's a big deal to anybody who deals with any kind of disability. Because little things like this are big deals to us. Are big, that's, that does not sound grammatically correct. <laughs> but anyway, little things like this become bigger things to us. No matter how accomplished we are. No matter how um, together we are. Or how many things we've done in our life like still little things creep up on us and it it's scary day-to-day -day life can be really really scary um and that's why I want to share this because I just want to let you know that like 32 years old I've been dealing with this disability for 32 years I'm very accustomed to it I'm very used to it I've accepted it I'm okay with it um and it's still, to this day, I still struggle. I still have to deal with the anxiety of it. I still, yeah, I mean, it, it is what it is. Um, and like I said, I'm just gonna go in there. I'm gonna do the best I can. And we're gonna see what happens. Um, I'm excited. I'm nervous. This is a good thing for me. It's outside of my comfort zone, which is always a good thing. It's always good to get outside of your comfort zone, especially when you have a disability. Um, it builds character and yeah. So there was something in a song that I was listening to that I wanted to tell you guys. And it's like, sometimes I feel like with music, like you hear something that you need to hear. Like there's always that, that lyric or that line and you're like, I needed that. Like I needed to hear that and it, it helps you. And I'm trying to remember what it was. I'll have to, I'll have to think. Oh, you want to turn the camera on? It's like everything I wanted to say is just gone. So anyway. Um, oh, keep on dreaming even if it breaks your heart. That's what it was. So I could go in there right now and I could tell them, hey, I've got a vision problem. And the way I approach that is always, you know, I know they can't discriminate against me, but truth be told, I only want to be somewhere where people want me. And I only want to be somewhere where it's a positive environment and it's a good environment. And if I feel in the least bit that they're not willing to work with me, then I don't want to be there. So I've got my hopes up. I'm excited about this and I'm going to go do it, even though my heart might get broken. I'm going to do it anyway. So that's how I feel about this. I'm going to go in there and do the best I can. And if they can't use me, then it's their loss, you know? So anyway, all right, I'm going to go ahead and go in there so I can walk around for a little bit and just kind of get my nerves leveled. So, all right, well, I'll talk to you guys in a little bit when I get back out. All right, guys, I'm already home. Um, hey, I'm the queen. Then dog. <laughs> you hear the wind? Oh gosh. I am the queen of really bad lighting today, apparently. Um, anyway, so I finally got back home. Um, and it's quiet in the house for a minute, so I thought I'd film this real quick. <sighs> okay, so this is what happened. So it was like a group interview type of thing, because like I said, it's for holiday help. So they went ahead and interviewed um, a couple other people while I was there. And so it was kind of awkward. Like I didn't want to like bring up the eye situation like in front of other people but yeah it was just weird well like I got all the way out of the car and it was just bothering me I'm like I need to tell them like I need to talk to them about it and let them know what's going on because I don't want to like deceive them and anyway it was so weird so I got out of the car went all the way back in there and I like pulled the manager to the side and I told her um about it I was like so this is gonna sound like worse than it really is I'm technically legally blind And that sounds really bad. Like, it's, it, you know. Well, anyway, she immediately was like, it's fine. It's okay. She's like, you function. You're, you, you drive. You. So, um, the manager 
was like, it's no big deal. She's like, it's fine. She's like, you come in here all the time. I see you, you function just fine. Um, and I said, well, but some people just aren't as tolerant and they don't understand it and they just don't want to deal with it basically. And so it worries me and I just want you to know that it, it is something that I have to work around, you know, and she was so sweet about it. And she said, oh, no big deal. She's like, we're going to be so busy during the holiday season that you probably will not be on the register anyway. Um, which I want to be on the floor. Like I want to help people and I want to be like working with the clothes and all like that's me. Like that's what I'd rather do. And then she's like, and then after the holiday season, maybe we'll, you know, we'll see how things go. We can maybe train you for that. And, and she told me, she was like, I was about to text you and, and let you know that you got the job, you know? And, um, so it made me feel so good. And like, I was like all the way home guys, I was like tearing up, like again, it's not like to most people this is not a big deal like it's just a little part-time job but to me it's like this is everything like this is this is a big deal like this is a it's something that I've overcome it's something that I have to work even harder than a typical person and I've achieved another goal you know I really wanted to get a little part-time job. I was afraid of what the outcome would be. I was afraid of trying something new and different and I did it and look, so don't be afraid to push yourself. Don't be afraid of disappointment. Even if you're told no, just try. It's, it's worth it. I'm telling you because you're going to be told yes eventually. It's going to happen. So Anyway, I'm really excited. Um, I start on the 12th, and um, the bad part is, though, like, I love this store. This is a store that I love to shop at, and I get a 40% discount, so I have to, like, keep myself from, like, shopping, obviously, because this is for extra Christmas money um, for the kids and everything, but it'll be nice for, like, after Christmas, so anyway. All right, well, I just wanted to let you guys know that I did get the job, and I'm super excited. And I'm going to try to do some updates about the kids and about, like, what's going on with life and all that good stuff. So, again, no matter what your disability is, no matter what your, whatever is going on with you, keep your head up, keep dreaming, and keep working towards your goals. Because no matter how hard it is, it's worth it. I'm telling you. So, anyway. All right. Talk to you guys later.